What's going on beautiful people? Thank you for tuning in, for watching and listening to my idiotic rambles, ramblings and rants about the state of affairs of this dimension that we currently inhabit. I appreciate your appreciation and in this video here to talk again about just one of my favorite things to talk about the nature of this existence the nature of this reality at its very core and here again sounding like a broken record but <laughs> i can't i just it's such a powerful saying by terence mckenna the real secret the magic is knowing that the world is made of words and that if you know the words that the world is made of you can make of it whatever you wish so this occurred to me yesterday while i was talking to my friend paul and we were talking about society and how most people are stuck in doing something they hate and then i thought about it for a little bit as i'm talking to him and it occurred to me that we are all operating under some kind of a spell some kind of a magic spell which is nothing more than repeated words that have entered the field of your mind and have formed belief system about the nature of reality your subjective reality essentially so in other words we are all living under some kind of a magic spell that is consists of words so the majority of people who are stuck in jobs they hate are under this collective consciousness mass magic spell or curse I want to call it here that this is the path of success in the world and this is what you have to do to be successful it's just simply someone else and then usually it's some sort of institutional religion or the government or the state you live in or the province you live in whatever authority is in the place you happen to be in speaks to you curses you with words says hey this is how things are done here you go to school for 12 years and then you go to university or you learn a trade and then you get a job this is how you succeed in this world this is nothing more than a fucking magic curse magic spell curse it's just someone else's words we all buy it we all buy someone else's truth together creating this consensus reality creating this reality simply because it was spoken by someone else and enough people embraced those words and so most people embrace these words by working jobs they hate and doing things they hate living in the matrix getting plugged into the matrix so they all embraced this magic spell and now they're living under it it forms their belief systems it digs deep into their subconscious mind and this is the subjective reality they create and when you think about it like that it's crazy because then we're all operating under some kind of a magic spell like some kind of words so you could be operating under the magic spell of coward and cowardness right and low self esteem because while growing up maybe your dad kept saying that you're a coward or you'll never amount up to anything or you're not good at doing this and maybe your friends bullied you and said similar things and these words it's all just words right have now cursed you so you're now you're living literally under the curse of words and that is generating this brain that you have is a reality generating device so this brain that you have has been cursed by words and now is generating it's a a reality 
that is operating based on that magic spell of someone else. Essentially, you bought your truth from someone else. And now you believed it, and now you're creating it. So recognizing that, recognizing this, this is how the world is. And if, so taking responsibility also, saying, well, you know what? Maybe I'm not where I am. Maybe this, this, and that because of some kind of fucking magic spell. Let me figure out what that curse was. What that, what, the, what, the, what those words that cursed me were. Let me figure them out. And then I'm going to undo this spell. And I'm going to put new spells on myself. This is the whole premise of my book, by the way. But I, I explain it more in terms of simulation theory lingo. Uh, but you can explain it from like magical. Magic is real, guys. This magic shit, you know, it's real. You can summon spirits. You can summon demons. You can manipulate this physical existence through mind and through just interacting with other spirits. That's real. That's real. And the way a lot of these magical rituals are done is through words. You know, they, they summon the spirits and they summon energy through words. They chant, chanting. This is why chanting is such a big thing in sh in sh with, with shamans and in native cultures. Because they knew how to interact with the spirit world. And they knew that they needed to chant and say certain words and certain things to summon the spirits or summon the energy of the universe. In whichever way. It could be in a good way, in a healing way, or you're trying to harm somebody. But it's all real. It's words. Everything is words. The whole thing, the whole fucking thing is words. It's all words. It's all words. Everything, this whole universe is words. So understanding that is very important and then saying, okay, well, how have I been cursed? Let's go back to my childhood and see, okay, oh my God, my dad said this and this to me and that's stuck in my mind and now that's how I am in this world. Maybe I always grew up trying to live up to my dad's expectations and maybe now I'm creating this whole reality where I'm always trying to live to someone else's expectation and, you're, and your dad now becomes your boss at work, becomes your company, becomes uh, your teacher and now you're trying to live constantly to someone else's expectations because of the magic spell of you gotta live to someone else's expectations which has been instilled to you by your dad. Just giving you guys an example, right? Maybe you're a girl and your mom told you while you were growing up that you're, you're, you're not beautiful, you're not as beautiful as your sister, you know? And maybe, the, you know, you kept hearing that from your mom, from your relatives, you're not as good as your, you're not as beautiful as your sister. And you've heard that like the fuck, the first 10 years of your life. Wow, now you've been cursed by words. And now your brain, this reality generating device, is taking in these words, Phew, is generating this reality where... I'm, I've got to be more beautiful than other girls. I've got to constantly compare my, you know, my, my beauty, my face and everything. And when you grow a little bit older and you start to have like breasts and, and ass, then you start to compare your breasts and your ass and you start to try and get other people's validations and you compare yourself with other girls. Well, because you're living under that spell, which was your mom telling you that your, your sister is more beautiful than you. Crazy, crazy. And all these magicians that put curses on you, they have no idea of their magical powers. They don't have a clue. Your mom, when she curses you with words, doesn't have a clue. Because she's been cursed by some other magician who doesn't have a fucking clue also. So you see, we're all magicians. I'm try what I try to do in these videos is I try to bless you with positive words. That's what I try and do. I try to bless you. There's a curse and there's a bless. And so I try to make your reality a little bit better I try to, 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 to help or let my words go into your brain, this reality generating device, and produce a better reality, a more positive reality, a more self-empowering reality. That's what I try and do. I try to bless you with words here. Words are very powerful. Words are very fucking powerful. And I, and I speak for a living, so I have to be very mindful of the words that I use. And I have to be very mindful of the power of words. You see? And that's what I do for a living. Words. I speak. I talk bullshit. But it's... We're magicians. We're magicians. We're all magicians. And I'm, I'm a magician when I talk to you here. And you're a magician when you talk to your friends. And when you talk to, to your brother and your sister. We're all magicians. So most of us have been cursed by other magicians who don't even know their power. Who have been cursed by other magicians. Who have been cursed by other magicians. Uh, 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 uh. 
So you don't even see me anymore because it goes way back in the lineage, in the ancestry. You see? So, understand where you've been cursed and then say, okay, well, fuck you. I'm not gonna listen to that spell anymore. All right, time to install new software, what I call it in my book, right? But install a new, new, a new curse, not curse, sorry. new blessing, new spell. Bless yourself. God bless you. You know, as simple as saying God bless you and looking at your body and saying, wow, this is a beautiful body. These are beautiful hands. This is a beautiful face. This is a beautiful thing that I'm in, this human thing. And then you look around you and you start to bless everything, right? With word, bless your food, right? Look at food. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. You know, and thank you, thank you. And you start to show gratitude and you start to bring this positive energy and bless everything. And you see, you see somebody that's beautiful and you say, well, you're very beautiful. You know, you got a beautiful soul. You had a beautiful smile. You had a beautiful presence. And you just give people like compliments. And you're blessing them with words, man. You're blessing people with your words now. You're, you're, you're helping them create this new reality that is based on positive energy. That is based on empowerment. See, you, now you're a magician. But the more you know how to use your words. See, what I'm trying to do on YouTube is I'm trying to be a really fucking good magician. See, I'm trying to be a really good fucking magician and try really be a good magician, but in a positive sense, you know, try and use my words in a very positive, empowering way. And that's what I'm trying to do. So I'm, I'm, that's why I have to think about this shit. You know, how do I be a better magician who blesses people? In the same way, you can go out there and start blessing yourself. And from that place, you can start to bless other people. And all of us together can come together and say, okay, guys, we're creating this new collective consciousness, this new collective reality, this new collective blessing through just simply words, because the whole fucking thing is made of words. And we're going to bless each other and we're going to help each other. And we're going to tell each other nice things and give each other compliments and really look at the positive in each one of us and look at the good in each one of us and praise each other. You see, praise each other. You know, it, it really is as simple as this. There's, there's this experiment and that's where I'll finish off the video. There was this experiment. Um, some, some, some Japanese researcher, right? I forget his name. It's all in my book. I wrote the story in my book, but I, I forget the details of it. He had three plants, right? One plant, so he didn't give them any water for a whole month. Three plants, right? First plant goes up to it every day for an hour. Thank you, thank you, thank you, bless you, thank you, bless you. The second plant goes to the plant every day for an hour. You're an idiot, you're an idiot, you're an idiot, you're an idiot, you're an idiot. Third plant doesn't do anything to it. They don't give it water. They don't give it anything. He does that every day for a month. The plant he praised after a month, every day concentrated praising for an hour, grew. This is no, it doesn't have any water, nothing. It grew just by words, focused words. That is focused will, right? Second plant, we kept, he kept telling us an idiot, completely deteriorated at a, at a, at a, at a very quick rate. The third plant that he left alone deteriorated because you're not giving it any water, any nutrients, but not nearly at the same rate as the one he kept saying you're an idiot. Words, words, words. The world is made of language. The real secret to magic is knowing that the world is made of language. And that if you know the words that the world is made of, you can make of it whatever you wish. All you have to do is concentrate your thought, concentrate your words, concentrate your will, bring emotional intensity into them, put it out there, speak things into existence, bless yourself, bless others. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. I love every single one of you guys. Each one of you guys is amazing, wonderful being that is powerful beyond your wildest imaginations. And it starts with the power of your words. That is it. God bless you all. Don't forget to subscribe or you're going to sleep with the fishes.